So we now go into our last pre-final of the weekend. And up now, it is Senior Rotax. Let's take, you look, take a look through the starting grid here at uh, Captain de Fania. Sean Butcher and Kai Hunter will be on the front row, followed by Ethan Jeff Hall and Mark Kimber. Matthew Higgins and Kai Hillitz, row three. Lewis Gilton, Paul Fulquimin, row four. Row five, Austin Lee and Lachlan Robinson completing the top 20. It's Jaden Team, Vic Stevens, Dion Van Verven, Matthias Turlo, Tommy Van Estoys, Alexander Savinkov, Maxence Bouvier, Luke Neeson, Farin Mega, and Sombor Kovac rounding out the 36 strong grid. Nolan Lemare, Svede Uben, Lawrence Herbos, Danny Prince, Dave Dams, Yori Schoens, Debbie Ross, Zach Scowler, Lauren Legault, Ralph van der Pavert, completing the 36 strong through the second chance heat. Jod van Wyk, Jules Roussel, Montego Marsen, Axel Goes, Iva Ag Anagnosiaidis, and Vincent van Kerkhoffen. So now we get ready for 13 minutes plus an additional lap. Here in this senior Rotax pre-final, into the tram lines we go. Are we ready? Are we steady? The lights go out first time. And it was nearly three wide as Ethan Jeff Hall looks up the inside of Sean Butcher, who is in the middle of the middle of the front row with Kai Hunter towards the outside. As now drivers making their way through into turn number three. That's so all, we've had a moment there and it's the barriers. That was the 9.02 that got caught out, spun around. Yoddy Shearns, hard hit into the barriers on the outskirts of turn number three. So drama on the opening lap. And Sean Butcher wearing his white Sunday vest again leads the way Kai Hunter in second position Ethan Jeff Hall who's actually uh, thanks to his dad Matt for telling me this this morning that uh, the uh, opposite arm the right arm has been made red it's normally on the left for the guys at strawberry racing as you can see with uh, Kai Hillitz's race suit Well, that's one way to make yourself differentiate from the rest of the team. But Sean Butcher was 60 thousandths ahead of Kai Hunter. Massey Higgins in third. Ethan Jeff Hall rounding at the top four ahead of Lewis Gilbert. Kai Hillatz followed by Mark Kimber as Ethan Jeff Hall manages to get through on Matthew Higgins to take P3. Vic Stevens has tumbled all the way down to 16th position as we complete lap number two. Butcher still leads and look at the train. Oh, an attempt there on Kai Hillatz. And that was from Mark Kimber just behind them. They've got Paul Forquemin 
amongst others, along with uh, Lachlan Robinson, who is also, seems to be a bit of a good luck charm for KR Sports. Austin Lee has now found himself down into 10th position after the opening skirmishes behind uh, Lachlan Robinson. Who's just behind him on the starting grid. Side by side a little bit further back, looked like uh, Vic Stevens was trying to go toe to toe with Maxence Bouvier. Coming out of the final right-hander. And Sean Butcher still continues to lead with by just over three and a half tenths of a second. Ethan Jeff Hall now in front, uh, now behind him. As Lewis Gilbert is now about a little bit further back. Gilbert currently in eighth position. And just behind him is Jaden Teen, the uh, number 380. He represented Team Netherlands for the very first time at the Circuito Internazionale Napoli in Sarno in 2019. 2021, he went to Bahrain and was runner-up that year behind uh, a former U uh, former BNL and Euro Trophy alumni, uh, Latvia's Tomasz Stolchemanis. There's a little bit of a cheeky look up the inside of Sean Butcher by Kai Hunter as Ethan Jeff Hall now is in the lead of the race. As all, a little bit of a moment there from Kai Hunter as I think Kai Hillets looked to get up the inside. Paul Fulquim and also got through as a result, not too sure if there was the slightest of touches, but when you do dive up the inside of somebody else, uh, it can sometimes be the case that you end up running wide. Lachlan Robinson gets attacked from behind, courtesy of uh, Jane and Thien, as they come out of the final corner. Matisse Turlon, not too shabby on his return to the BNL Karting Series, as there is the move from Mark Kimber on Matthew Higgins for P3. Fastest lap of the race so far, however, goes to Farin Mega. 55.464 on lap four of this 1,388-metre circuit here at uh, Gauteng de Fagne. Ethan Jeff Hall is exact, well, on his previous lap, was just exactly a tenth away from that. Sean Butcher also a personal best last time around, 55.671. But Farin Mega on the move. Sweeps through on the inside of Maxence Bouvier in the uh, 301, who's on the Sodi Kart chassis. Next up is Dion van Verven for Farin Mega to get past. Svede Uben and Divian Rost running at the top 20. Oh, that's Zach Scala into the barriers off of the exit of turn number three. And, uh, oh, that's a real shame for the Anz Heat Racing Academy driver. And that, until that moment, Zach was actually running 31st. So Ethan Jeff Hall starts to expand his lead as we are past half time to, well, past the halfway mark in this race. And we've got a yellow because of obviously the extrication required for the 327 of Zach Scowler. He's uh, safely behind the barriers in the tire, well, behind the tire wall that makes up the Marshall Post off of turn number three.
Sean Butcher, in the meantime, is, is siphoning time to Ethan Jeff Hall and has got Mark Kimber closing in behind him. In the last time round, set the fastest lap of the race, 55.248. And there's the move from Kimber through on the inside of, Butch, uh, of Butcher for second place. So at the moment, it is Ethan Jeff Hall that leads by just over eight tenths of a second. It was Sean Butcher, it's now Mark Kimber that's in second. Butcher down to third. Pilots in fourth. Higgins, Vorquemin, Hunter, Gilbert, Lee, Dion van Verven rounds out the top ten. Farin Mega now in 11th place and is climbing up the order slowly but steadily. Oh, and we've had a big moment for Jaden Teen. Looks like he's out of the race, I'm afraid. So Jaden Teen, the 380, originally based out of Sisteren in the Netherlands. He's running with uh, RR Racing now with JJ these days. Vivian Hus is now battling away with the likes of uh, Svede Uben, Matisse Turolo, Taze Dams and Luke Neeson. And there's also uh, Lachlan Robinson in the, uh, in the midst there as well. As a little move being made. And there's going to be an absolute flood of carts coming across the start-finish line. Too wide more than likely going into turn number one. But Ethan Jeff Hall carries on and is consistently expanding his lead. It was nine tenths of a second last time round uh, as we uh, entered onto lap number 11. And look at this dogfight of a train being led by Lachlan Robinson right now. He's ahead of Luke Neeson, Maxence Bouvier, uh, Matisse Turlo, Devian Horst, Svere Uben, Jules Roussel, Thais Dams, and Tommy van der Stroys is there. So is Jot van Vijk. I think Zombor Kovac is going to bring up the rear of that, which he is. So as per the B final a little bit earlier on, we did find, oh, there was a little bit of a touch, I believe, between Maxence Bouvier. Left rear to right front of Matisse Turlo. Turlo better be careful. He doesn't stick that nose in, that stick that bumper in too hard into the back of Maxence Bouvier because if those clips are out, it's a five second time penalty. Robinson still holding on to what is 14th on the road. There is still time left to go, even though there's not much of it. A minute and ten, plus an additional lap still remaining on the timer. Some great dueling up and down the order. Svedit Uber looking up the inside of Lockton Robinson and gets through. So Lauren Legault trying to wrestle his way past a couple of people, which included the 
321 of Days Dams amongst all others. Now there's going to be a change here. That was Kai Hunter who manages to uh, get past on Francis Paul for Quemin, but it was side by side through turn five and Hunter stayed in front. They've got the 372 of Austin Lee, the 316 of Lewis Gilbert. There is Farin Mega, the number 360. He now gets up the inside through the right hand, a nice and neatly done by the 360 representing Germany. So the timer has now expired. And after this one, we've got one more lap to go before a brief interval ahead of the four finals that will take place this afternoon. But Ethan Jeff Hall, with just under a second advantage, has made it count where it mattered the most, got an overtake done and went, right, I'm not hanging around anywhere. And he just wants to get in front and just start pulling away. And that's exactly what he's done bit by bit. So last lap board for the pre-finals here this weekend. Kimber just over eight and a half tenths of a second behind his teammate from Strawberry Racing. Sean Butcher in third, Hillertz, Higgins, Hunter, Fokima, as there is another move by Fire Mega. That is on Austin Lee. Now, these two were teammates when they were juniors a couple of, se a couple of seasons ago. Ethan Jeff Hall. There we go, the chequered flag will be out. It's going to be Ethan Jeff Hall that wins it. Mark Kimber in second. Sean Butcher rounds out the top three. Head of Hillertz. Matthew Higgins. Kai Hunter. Paul Ford Quemin. Great resurgence up the field from Far and Mega. To finish eighth head of Lewis Gilbert. Austin Lee completes the top ten. Dion van Verven was 11th, head of uh, Nolan Lemerhe, Vic Stevens, Maxence Bouvier, Luke Neeson, Matthias Turlow, Svede Uben, Devin Horst, Zombor Kovac, and in 20th, Lachlan Robinson. Jod van Wyk, Tommy van der Soys, Thijs Dams, Lauren Lego, Lawrence Herbos, uh, Axel Goes, Jori Schoens, Vincent van Kerkhoff, and Jules Roussel, Ralph van der Pavert, Iva Ag uh, Anagnostiaitis, Alexander Savinkov, Danny Prins, and Montego Mass, and all drivers that I've just mentioned, all 34 of them have finished the race. With Jaden Teen out on lap seven, and Zach Scowler out on lap number six.